Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the page where I sing anything that I like that means something special to me or that comes to mind. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you wish to follow me, social media links below. You know where to click. And if you want to subscribe, like, put a little thumbs up like that. One, two, three, four, how much you want to. That would mean so much to me, so thank you so much. Next thing I'm going to sing is again taking you back to the 70s. I currently am all about the 70s right now. It's a mashup of Bob Dylan and Elton John met each other. Magic would have happened. And they probably did actually. Well, yeah, because they're both alive. Anyways, <laughs> next song I'm going to sing. Hope you guys will like it. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Love you guys. seen the spectre and he has been here too distant cousin from down the line proud of people who ain't my kind holy Moses I have been Not my cup of tea. Um, wow. 
Last time I was doing a song quiz that someone called Karelina asked me to do. So if you haven't checked it out, you can check it out somewhere here around me, wherever I can manage to do this. I haven't finished it because there were quite a few questions, so I've just figured I would do the rest of them or a few more this time. So, next question is, what's your favorite song from a movie? Ooh, that's tough. I think my favorite music composer has to be John Williams, but there's just something about when you hear that Harry Potter music theme song that just brings you back all those childhood memories that I love so much because I grew up basically watching Harry Potter. I still love the movies, but you know, when the actors were 10, so was I. So it's like, as they grew older, so did I, basically. Whenever I watched, you know, the first movie, I remember what it was like being 10. Second movie, 11. Basically, yeah, you know how it goes on. A few movies came out afterwards, etc. etc. Yeah, it's, there's just something whenever I hear this music, it just brings me back all those childhood memories because I have a pretty good memory. So, whenever I hear the music with the theme song from Forrest Gump, it's just something very appeasing, appealing, appeasing, something very calm <laughs> when I hear this music. So, I guess that, yeah. No, it's more like any blockbuster movie. There's just music that just reminds you of certain movies, whether it's Star Wars, Hunger Games, Life is Beautiful. It's more like music that reminds me of certain films. Whenever I hear Jump, it reminds me of the film Love Actually, with the famous Hugh Grant dance. I don't know if you guys see it, but it's pretty iconic. Next question, is there any song you would sing over and over again as a kid? <laughs> I would sing all the time as a kid, <laughs> in the shower, when I was walking outside. I remember once my mom was at the hairdresser and I was with her because I was just a child. And throughout the whole thing, you know, it takes time, you know, wash the hair, you cut the hair, you blow dry, so so on. I just sang a song, like a never-ending song, for like about 40 minutes to an hour. I just went on, it wasn't a song that even existed, it's just words put together. And no one spoke to me for like an entire hour because my imagination was just it. Complete, is completely insane still. After an hour, I just stopped. That was the end of my song, so. And the hairdresser, he looks at me, he's like, thank you for sharing that. Poor guy, I think his ears were like bleeding by then after an hour of me created this really weird song with my sisters. Growing up, we used to have this amazing teacher. He would teach us a new song every week and then we would sing it throughout the week. We would sometimes just sing again and again these songs together because they had full dance movement. It was fun to do. Like I said before, I would just put down all the curtains, just put Queen and start dancing, going crazy by myself. You know. I remember once there was this CD that I got that I loved. It was like a pop disco thing. And there were all the songs cool from the 90s, beginning 2000. And there was in it a song called Horny. And he goes, I'm horny, 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 horny. Okay, I didn't know what it meant, because I was just like seven or eight. But I loved the song, obviously, because it was lots of beat in the song. And it was just cool. I was taking dance lessons back then and we had this show and with a friend of mine we had to come up with a whole choreography and then present it to the parents. We did that, we practiced a lot and then the show comes, all the parents are here to <laughs> see all the kids dance and it, it's my friend and my turn to, to perform on stage. The teacher didn't see the dance before, nobody saw the dance before, it was just us preparing something new. We danced to this song and <laughs> literally I could see the parents' faces, they were like smiling from <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> Why is my daughter dancing to a song of a woman saying she's horny? I didn't know what it meant by then, but I think even if I did, I thought that the lyrics were I'm honey, like, I'm your honey, my baby, I'm your honey. I don't know. But it was a really cool song. I still like it, actually. It was just seeing an eight year old girl dancing to I'm horny tonight. <laughs> Maybe not the most appropriate song to dance to. Oh well, memories. Next question. If I could perform just one song on stage, it would be... Ooh, I think it would be something powerful. A while back, I sang on stage a Led Zeppelin song. I have the video on my channel, actually, so I'm just gonna put the link here somewhere if you wanna go check it out with friends of mine. That was probably one of the most fun I had uh, singing on stage because it was easy going, as in I didn't have to be scared too much of what was gonna happen on stage. I just had fun, I enjoyed myself, and it was a whole lot of love. So I think if I could sing that on stage with a really, really big audience, the drums going crazy, the electric guitars, the everything, all the instruments going crazy, then that would be freaking amazing. Really, it would be. I'd love to do that. I was thinking of doing a cover of it, but I think just a keyboard would not do it justice. So maybe I have to see my friends again, see if they want to do the song again with me. That would be so cool, because we had a lot of fun. I mean, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. That's it for this time, so I'll see you next time. That's, that's it for this time, so I'll see you next time. That's it for this time, see you next time.
No. That's it for this time. See you soon. The next song. The next song I'm going. Okay, seriously. What is it? What is it with you? Stay there. Stay. Oh yeah.